One of my objectives in life is to end the mystery about how to have a great physique. I'm not saying I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I know what it's like to be skinny and I know what it's like to have a physique that people look up to and respect. And it's much simpler than a lot of us think. What I'm gonna do now is five, 10 sets of five on the standing press. And it shows a really simple way that you can get strong and you can also develop a great physique. And it doesn't really matter about what weight you use on this. What matters is that you understand the concept and then whatever weight you need to start with, you work from there to get to the next level. If you can do that, then great things are gonna follow. If you can't do that, well then you're not really gonna to get to where you wanna be. So that's a minute. A Little bit of rest, back at it. What if you could? Simple workout. All you need to do is take on this challenge of improving on the simplest training system. The reason why dense strength is so simple is because I designed it thinking about well, how could the average person going to the gym get much, much better results? And I was looking in frustration at the average gym goer going to a commercial gym, being distracted, not really knowing what to do, getting confused about all the information out there about how to train. It just doesn't have to be that hard. It can be a lot simpler. And so here it is, this is the method. It's this simple. We're coming around again for the minute. One, two, three. Four, five. Then if you ever do get any problems, because a lot of people say, well, what about my shoulder? What about my knee? What about my... Then we have another system. Dense strength is one of the key things that you need to know about if you want to have an elite physique, or at least it's one of the shortcuts, one of the simplest ways. I'm simple. I like simple approaches. The other key thing you want to know about is range training. Range training is the idea that the more tension you put on a muscle or a tendon, the more likely it is to hurt or become injured. And so if you can train with less tension, you can heal things. It's a simple concept and it's really the foundation why I fell in love with ATG and was so excited when I met Ben and started talking training philosophy with him. These are gonna get quite tough actually. So I pressed 80 kilos a few days ago for one repetition. And I've done 75 or 76 kilos on the 10D1. 10D1 is a good way to get really strong. But if you do happen to get an issue with the elbow tendon or the shoulder, when you understand range training, you'll overcome that much faster. You won't have chronic things that hold you back. And the idea is simply that you train with less tension and a lot of blood flow, and then you work towards gradually being able to add more tension with more load, faster weights, but also more stretch within the exercise. It's a simple concept once you understand it, and it works across all muscles and tendons. Then strength. We should make things, we should build solutions to things. What are you building a solution to? I'm all about solutions. Everything has a solution, problems have solutions, and a life well spent is a life spent solving problems. One of the problems that you should be trying to find is how do I get around people who are better than me at things? And how do I get around people who will value my existence and want to see me continue to exist. 
that was kind of self-evident for our ancestors, but most men have forgotten that now. They don't understand that if you're on your own, you're extremely vulnerable. You don't want to be on your own. You want to be around people who are ahead of you in the game and people who want and expect the best from you. If other people are expecting you to do good things, you're more likely to do good things. This is really clear when you're in, you look at a military environment, special forces, those sorts of environments. It's also very, very clear in elite sport, but then it's not clear to the average guy, I need to get around men who are gonna live great lives because otherwise my chances of survival, the chances for my offspring are much lower. It's kind of a base way to look at things because you know, many people are considering not having children. Values have all changed. I can tell you, one of the best things you're gonna do, or maybe the best thing you're ever gonna do, is have children and then have the opportunity to help shape their future. My children haven't been to school very much. They have been to school, but not very much. And that's a decision that we've made, but it was partly made for us by the way the world has changed. I want children that are creative. I want children that are able to solve problems and they're able to entertain themselves. And that's what I have. I love the, the people that they are becoming. I love the life that they've lived so far. They've lived in lots of different countries. They've met people from all over the world. They're used to communicating with people in other languages. And I'm actively recruiting for the environment I want my children to be in. I want my children around other children whose parents have similar values, who value health, value great food, value education, making the most of yourself, making the best of yourself, building the most beautiful things that you can. Here building this gym, I wanna be around other people who wanna build projects like this around the world. That's why we have the Uncommon Villages, we now have the Mexico Village, the India Village coming online Unfortunately, we don't have anyone who's really committed in Australia yet, despite helping over 100 guys open gyms in Australia. We haven't really got a headquarters in Australia yet. But the game continues in Australia has shown very poor form when it comes to setting a high standard of men, camaraderie, sticking together, doing great things. Historically, a lot of great things have happened there, but recently the standards have dropped. So how do we improve? Well, we start with doing simple things like getting stronger and accomplishing physical feats that once seemed impossible. If we can continue to accomplish feats that once seemed impossible. Let's see what happens to your confidence. Let's see what happens to your vision for the future. I know it's connected. It's connected for those who choose to connect them. That's what we're doing with Uncommon Success is mastermind to athletic, richer, smarter. Get around other people who are going to athletic, richer, smarter. We moved tons of rocks today and it was a challenge. It took four or five hours, wheelbarrow, shovel. Growing up, when mum had these jobs to do, my brother ended up doing 90% of the work. I avoided the work 
I'm catching up now. I have done 11 sets. What matters is you get your sets, get some inspiration, get some clarity, simplify your training, get crazy strong. Think about doing something bigger and better with your life. Get around other people who've made the decision to challenge themselves, to learn other languages, to see other cultures, to be the kind of person that other people look up to, to build a product, build a solution. You have a solution in you and you have unique abilities to, to build that. The fun in life is in getting after it and building that thing. When you know you've got something you can do, you should do, you could do, you would do, but you're not doing it, then you don't feel good. And there's a lot of men out there who don't feel good. And then you get around other men who are doing stuff and all of a sudden you start to feel very, very different about your future. Whenever you don't feel good, get around guys who are doing something. What I love about having this village is, just had Nate Johnson here from Nebraska, sets a high standard for himself. He's read a lot of books, he's a smart man. And we got to hang out, do some training, share ideas. If I'm having an average day, and then I go and spend time with someone like Nate, things get better. So, that's the game. Build that network all over the world. Build your own network if you want to. I'll probably want to plug into it if it's anything like the quality of the connections and group that I've built with ATG for Coaches and Uncommon Success. Hope you got some value out of this. Let me know your questions about dense strength, about fixing your shoulders, about getting jacked, or about building your network and building your business. Let's talk soon.